Hello, you awesome video game lovers. My name is Imaginer, and welcome to A Bird Story. Now, I wanted to go straight into Finding Paradise, which just came out today, or yesterday, but I wanted to play A Bird Story first because I've heard from people that this is connected, and by seeing the character here, I can tell what they mean. Um, I know it's been a while since I've been making videos. Um, I'll say all that in an update, so don't worry about that. But for now, let's begin this little adventure with our friend here. I have no idea who this is. Oh. Uh, I guess we'll start from here. Also, I'm seeing this on a small screen, so bear with me if I don't see a lot of details. Alright. I do love the art in this game. Like, Freebird games in general. Let me look at my hedge. Oh. You're looking for a bird. Maybe a baby bird? Perhaps. So, from what I can gather, Baby Bird finally grew up and left with the other birds, and our character here is sad. Also, I forgot to mention this has no dialogue to it. This is just a movie, I guess is a way of putting it. Oh, the little chap, what are you doing? to the center so that way I don't look too weird looking a little bit to the side. Good night, sleep tight. <laughs> God, I love the scenery in these games. the feeling of having trouble sleeping. Two jobs and all. Okay, what sort of Salvador Dali thing are we getting into right now? Oh, I, well, um, we're a little backwards here. Um, back in time we go, I guess. Oh, that's cool. So do I just, uh, hop on? Oh, here we go. Oh, we're going backwards. <laughs> Is that a, that's a little shadow of a bird on my head. Um, okay. <laughs> my guess is that the music for the game's going in re Yeah, the music of the game's going in reverse. Which is kind of cool. But also, what is going on? <laughs> Do I just magically... Is that a church? Or a school? No, it's a school. I saw the seesaw. Also, I don't know many churches that have like a big clock on the front of them, so... Oh, good morning, class. Today we're gonna learn some math. As long as she doesn't drag her nails on the chalkboard, I think we'll be good. Alright then. 
Ah. I'd want to play with the squirrels too. Believe you me, those guys get all the fun. Oh no. Square root of 1,764 equals cat? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, oh dear. Uh, <laughs> well, um... Huh. Oh, you get to stand outside in the hall. Gotcha. I don't know if I've ever had to do that before. I don't remember much of my elementary days, sadly. And the sad thing is, this is something I can say. My elementary school actually got torn down a few years ago, so the elementary school that I went to as a kid is no longer there, sadly. <laughs> Which actually makes me really sad. Oh. Oh. There are trees in the... Okay. Who slipped LSD into my lunchbox again? Was it you, Timmy? Jeremy? Alice? Well, I can tell I'm going through my memories. I don't know what there is beyond this point, if anything. Oh, I guess not, so, uh... Oh, wait, do I have to reconnect with my memory? Probably. Yeah, I need to reconnect with my memory. Hello, memory. Well, not much is going on. I hope that you guys are able to hear me through all this music. We'll see. Wow. Great authentic kid sounds. Annoying, but great and authentic. Is there anything I can do there? No? Okay. Um... Hmm. Um... Anything at all. I don't think I need to go back, do I? I'll check over here, and if there's nothing, then I'll just head back. Oh, yeah. Haha. <laughs> oh, wait. Can I? Oh. Uh, that's pretty cool. Oh. Thank goodness we get away from that, because that would have been annoying otherwise. I do like the music that they make. Uh, I believe the composer's name is Kon Gao. He goes by Reeves. Uh, Kon, or Can, I don't know how you... I'm gonna say con for now. I hope not. No, it's can. Because I know uh, a person actually named Can from my. Uh... But, anyways. I'm sorry about pronouncing it incorrectly. But, I'm gonna just call him Reeves. Reeves, you do an amazing job with these games. I tell you what, I cannot wait to play Finding Paradise. And if it gets me as emotional as to the moon, then you've won in my book. Guess we're going inside this hotel. I believe it's a hotel. Alright. Anything? Alright, I can't interact with much. I am only able to go to locations and then... Yep. Well, Alright then. This is supposed to be a small experience, which is a good thing because... Uh... I don't really have much time. I'm hoping to get some sleep before my job, which will be ending in a week, so. Okay, everything. Again, why is everything spooky? Again, why? Are those, is that poop or rat? That's rats. Um. Hello? 
Am I gonna find a uh, scary lady from Silent Hills Peak T? Nope. Alright. Well, I guess there's some sort of peaceful ambiance here. Let there be light. Oh, this is where he lives. Is he by himself? Oh, no he isn't. Um, couldn't read that note really. Could, could I get a second read there? Is there a... all the places. Oh. Those are all just... <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Whatever kids dream is, is being able to hop up and down on their parents' bed. Alright. What is down here? Oh, it's our bed. Oh, he's got like a stack of notes from his parents, I'm guessing. Oh. Poor buddy. Get something to eat, jeez. Don't need you starving yourself. Ah, the lovely chrome. I was gonna say something else, but I guess refrigerator works. Magical dinner door, there we go. God, I remember watching cartoons like Disney cartoons as a kid. I'm 20 years old, I will tell you guys, I'm 20 years old, and I miss being a kid so much, and I guess we need to go back to our book. Ah, jeez. This is just something else. Let's see if I can try to... Oh, and I dropped something. That's alright. What are you doing? I will get a little off camera so I can pick up something. You just love your paper airplanes, don't you, bud? <laughs> oh, someone is way too hyper. Did you cut yourself? Like paper cut? Or did you... Oh. Go to sleep. I will tell you this from experience. If people can see me right now, I have not slept yet. Which after this, I'm going to sleep. But... No, do not fall asleep while working on something. It doesn't do you well at all. Is that a leaf or is that a blanket? Sometimes it's hard to tell with these RPG Maker games. Nice! Hmm. That's a coat. And why, pray tell, does he have a coat on? Some mysterious figure? Some mysterious reason why? Two minutes, twice a day. <laughs> you just seem very sluggish. I'm gonna go get the coat. I know it's important. 
Oh, okay. I, or maybe it was a blanket. Maybe I'm just weird. Yeah, it was a blanket. Okay. Again, hard to tell in these RPG Maker games. Oh, right. I need to get my book bag. That would be nice. Oh, and my book. <laughs> nice drawing. For a kid. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, are we good now? Should we grab a snack? <laughs> Brand muffin. <laughs> I like the little Legend of Zelda reference there. That was nice. It's raining outside. I'm gonna need an umbrella. Or, you know, be like a kid would and be like, I don't need an umbrella. Who needs an umbrella? Oh. My mistake. Why, why do they have a... That is a really weird, uh... Okay, yeah, memories are kind of broken a little bit, but that's fine. <laughs> so is two times two goldfish? I don't blame you. There were some classes that I had in uh, college that weren't exactly for my study yeah, that I pretty much caught some eyes. Like, caught some shit eye with. Oh! Well, uh, I don't know if that's considered abuse for kicking your, you know, student literally out of a classroom, but I have no idea. I hope I'm not looking too far off from where I'm supposed to be. In fact, let me move the screen a little more. That way I'm looking more directly at the screen, hopefully. I'm trying to get to, like, the right place. Yeah, alright. So, yeah. That's what I used to do as a kid before then I became an adult and realized how much terrible it is to get your feet wet. Adulthood sucks. Enjoy it while it lasts, kids. It goes by fast. Sure, sure. Thank you, Guardians of the Forest, for revealing the path to me. Uh-oh. Little bird being chased by a badger. Hello, little burb. you were able to get away from that badger that quickly. You must have some speed. Don't, little guy. You can't fly. Your wing is broke.
I I guess we're moving on. Is that chirping I hear in my backpack? <laughs> That's so adorable. I want one. <laughs> actually, no, I really want like a plat plat doll, actually. I might get one. <laughs> Thank you, Guardians of the Forest, once again. Of the, uh, Guardians of the Forest, thank you once again for revealing the right path to me. Ah, oh, we found a little veterinary clinic. Please tell me you're open. I wish there was a way to adjust that at some points, but the music's kind of what makes these games, so I don't blame Can for, or Breeze, for making such a, you know, choices when it comes to volume. Except when it gets that loud. Uh... My goodness. So do I just... Whew. Avoid the evil gaze of the lady. Okay, so now we're moving on. I like when there are cool mechanics with these games. I thought it was just going to be like a movie, but actually it is interactive in some ways. Still, it goes and like, there's no dialogue. That's what I should have probably mentioned. But oh well. Uh, we got a little bird to protect us from the hallway of Silent Hills PT. <laughs> See here. Chirp, chirp. Shut up! <laughs> Alright. We're home. Mom, Dad. Oh, they're never coming back. Ah! I didn't even see what was going on there. Anyways. Um. Oh, right. I have to turn on the lights. Well, at least the lights work. <clears throat> Let me fix my hair after I've stepped in a bunch of puddles. What does it say? You know, it'd be nice if I could read those notes. You know, like, at all. That would be nice. Hey, can we, you know, jump in, up and down on my parents' bed again? No? Okay. Because it was a one-time deal. Again, 
What's it with our parents leaving notes and you just collecting them? I don't understand. I wanna follow the burb. This is a bad place. This is very bad. Oh. Bird needs water. Well, I guess we can give Bird a little water. I'm gonna name it Birdenand. Because we can. Uh, let's get some water. Right, I need a dish for some water. Oh, okay, it's right there. <laughs> and now go to Burb. Burbanand. Birdenand, yes. I don't know if the bird even has a name, so Birdenand is what's going to be named. Birdenand brought you some water. Feed. Feed you, little turd. <laughs> You get, oh, and bread. Of course. Water and bread. <laughs> slurp, slurp. Yum, yum. <laughs> uh, I gotta go in the fridge and get some bread. From the magical dinner door, we find bread. Oh, no Legend of Zelda thing this time? Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh. Um. Bur Birdnand? Birdnand. Birdnand. Oh, God. Oh! Play hide and seek with Birdman. Can <laughs> uh, I play with Birdman? Birdman. I guess I'll pick up the bread. I was almost afraid. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Well, Burden End will eat at some point. Until then, we've got homework to do. <laughs> kind of reminds me of uh, Pepe from uh, World of Warcraft, that tiny little bird. A Pepe, a little figurine, actually. Those little Pepe stuffed animals, actually. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this, you're not gonna get any sleep. It's going on a little longer than I thought it would. Oh well, we'll make a segment out of it, because... I don't care how long this is, I'm gonna continue doing it until the end. Uh, Birdnand. No. Birdnand, no! Oh, no. Oh, no, Birdnand, no! Please tell me that Birdnand will be okay throughout this entire story. Birdnand. No, do not try. I have one new item in my inventory. Thank you, Steam. But right now I'm more concerned with the fact that Birdnand here wanting to attempt to fly. No. Stop. No, Birdnand. Birdnand better not be dead.
Bernie, I better not jump. Good job, you're awake, little buddy. Technically, this bird is like big in comparison to like a baby bird. Maybe it isn't a baby bird. Oh well. Burn it. Okay. Okay. Are we in a dream now? Is that what I'm getting at? Or did you just want to skip an entire scene of us having to go downstairs and whatever? By jumping out a freaking balcony! Okay, I... The car's not yours. Oh, wait. That's because the, it's the veterinarians. Hello! Miss or Mr. Vet? Oh, Mrs. Is... Sorry. Our bird needs help. Birdnand. He cannot go on without his daily care. So, like this. <laughs> Item, get. Oh, give it to her. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Bird's confused. You're not a veterinarian. She's a veterinarian. Okay, where do I find, uh... Oh, it's over there. I have to get a little close, just because I'm recording this on a window, so that way it actually... There we go. And, now um, Get the bird all dressed up. We need bandages. Where are the bandages? Are those bandages? Nope. Okay, bandages, bandages. Are these the bandages? No, oh, we gotta go in the other room. Thank you for directing me, Arrow of Positive Justice. And also, storytelling. And, alright. Item get. And there we go. Jeez, a little forceful there. Oh, Birdman's gonna stay at the veterinary clinic. That's fine. But Birdman doesn't like being stuck in the veterinary. Oh, no, wait. You're gonna take Birdman. Classic. Alright. She's gonna come out and she's gonna, like, drop the cage. Yep. Or not. She's gonna beat the living tarnation out of that kid. Well, probably not. She's a veterinarian. But she knows what's best, kid. Birdman can't heal it. Time for school! 
Brush, 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 brush. Spit and burn hand. <laughs> Did you just throw <laughs> poor little bird hand with a bread hat? So the space in which you find a gerbil is he's this wide by this tall. And that means he wants to bite your face off. And then oh, we're going back into <laughs> Let's play fetch. Oh, uh, why do I feel like this? Oh! Oh, no, burden in! Burden in, you will give back the paper plane immediately, even though we're having a bunch of fun. Burden in! Get back here. What are you doing, you crazy little rascal? Birdman, so help me God, if you do not give me my... Oh. And then, whoosh. Room beers. Or, you know, we have the random... Ah! This is nice. Oh, I need to race Birdman. Oh, I'm stuck. Birdman, that doesn't count. Oh, Birdman. I want ice cream. It's winter. But shut up, I like ice cream. That's Birdman you're honking at. He's the best bird you'll ever know. Come on, Birdman. Uh-oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it is like Pepe. Bye. Can I see Johnny and River up there? Please do tell me that you're gonna throw a little reference to them. No. Darn. That'd have been nice. I mean, then again, it's only in the memories, so. Get ready, Ferdinand. God, I am just loving this right now. Alright, Birdman. Let's get a moving, little buddy. I do hope that this is recording. Because that's the last thing I need is it for not to be recording. Don't worry about that. Oh! 
I don't know what I need to get at all because I was stuck making sure that my recording is still recording. Um, right. Hello. Um, yes, I have no idea what I'm getting. Bread. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, sir. Oh. I was about to say, if you ran out with that, uh, so that's my bread. God, I love these games. They're a small little company, but they make such amazing content. Like, games and music. Wow. Oh, he just got older. Thank you again, Guardians of the Forest. I am Groot. Oh, memories. I know these interactive movies may not be everyone's taste, but I just enjoy them. Better not be the badger again. I'm gonna kick a badger butt. I don't know. We'll see. Hello, Birdman? Is that you? Whatever happened to Birdman? Please don't, Birdman didn't, does not die. Oh no, Birdman's still. Oh, so. Birdman's still around. Alright. You are quite fascinated with that bird, sir. But it is alright. Well then, <clears throat> I'm hopefully talking loud enough for you guys, if not, sorry. My throat's a little dry and I don't have any water. Yes, that's a picture of you, little buddy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, it was a scrapbook. Well, technically it is a scrapbook, technically. Using the book for scrap. Or, in this case, paper. Oh my goodness. They're gonna run out of paper by the time. So are you sticking them all together? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't see any tape. Then again, the magic of RPG Maker. You can make whatever you want, and it requires no tape. You can also make things that are pretty... Um, unrealistic in the case of carrying a human body, but it is a bird story after. Physics does not apply in this universe, does it? Oh, 
Okay. Again. Art is amazing here. I want to take in the moment, actually. I don't care how much time I'm going over. This might be my first hour-long episode, to be perfectly honest. Unless I've already done one. I can't remember. But just... Uh. Alright, I'll speed it up a little bit, but not by much. still controlling, so... Not even here? Well, where do you want to go, little buddy? There's not much left to go. Well, I absolutely don't know. Unless he's a volcano bird. Maybe he likes volcanoes. I don't know. Whatever it is. Just happy where he is with you. I need a book like that that can just make a paper airplane that I can fly around in. That'd be nice. Grand, I'm afraid of heights, so I wouldn't go too high, especially with something as flimsy as paper. The veterinarian? Well, wait, I was seeing Brid there. 
Thank you, Guardians of the Forest, once again. <sighs> I was almost concerned why the veterinarian was in our house, or if it was our own mother being like, you've been staying out doing all this. I like how it's going back and forth, but also, wow, we are going over time. It's fine. Honestly, I'll make it one of my longer segments. Just gonna phase right through you if you don't mind. Wow. I do hope this is recording well too, because otherwise I'm gonna be quite peeved. Uh oh. <laughs> Are we gonna do a Benny Hill thing? creepy. It was funny, especially with the whole Mario reference, but... Tell me that burden end is okay. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm. I'm sorry, when did it say 15 to 30 minutes for... Is wing healed? Or is it not healed because you didn't keep him at the veterinary clinic? Time for school! Come along, Birdnand. We have an adventure to await us. In this case, you will bring it, won't you? Because Birdman. No? Yes? Is something at least you. Yes. Little bird man. Can we jump? Darn it. Okay. Something tells me I'm not gonna like the way this ends. Or maybe I will, I have no idea. I'm just not sure what to do. Do 
the right thing. How am I supposed to interpret it? Like, how am I supposed to interpret the story? Oh dear. Do I have to avoid, like, lightning or whatever? What is going on? Oh dear. If I keep moving, maybe I'll- oh, okay, nope. Keep hitting the lightning for some reason, maybe if I- oh. Oh dear. Mayday! Mayday! Mayday, Charlie, we're going down. Mayday, Mayday, we're going down. You okay? Yeah, he's fine. I thought I saw blood, but apparently not. Ferdinand? Where's Ferdinand? Is Ferdinand okay? crying. No, no, no. How, what even happened? Did you try to let your bird fly and Be mad at me all you want, I don't care. Did I kill my bird? I'm really having trouble understanding where the story was 
going. Like, parts of it was in the real world, parts of it's in a dream, parts of it's sort of fragmented in between. Like, I'm just very confused. I guess we're going up. Piece of paper. Ferdinand. <laughs> you weren't ready to fly yet, little buddy. Actually, sad. I'm not to the point of crying, but just. Oh, Ferdinand. My eyes are getting a little watery, but shut up. I'm a sucker for emotional stories. I don't even know who this character's name is. Like, I'm generally unsure. But I know this character is like the main, like the Johnny of Finding Paradise. So. I knew I wanted to play this before I went to find a paradise, which I have, so don't worry about that. I will be playing it. Not today, though, and it'll probably be a little while. Well, not for you guys. I'll probably have these episodes out at roughly the same time, but for me it's going to be like a week or so of spending Christmas with family and friends, so... Sorry if I'm leaning too close to the camera, by the way. I'm really sad, and it's not helping me in this situation to try to hold back the tears.
Bird Man. Actually, is you. Dead. Oh. You can fly, bird man. You can fly. Oh. Take it. Achievement unlocked tomorrow. Reeves, you've done it again. You made me cry, and I was not expecting this to be an emotional story. This wasn't amazing. It wasn't a long experience. It was only an hour. Longer than I thought it was going to be, but... yet I'll save those for finding paradise if they really lead me to it. Oh. Oh. No family. Or, no, that's just Ferdinand and Bertilda, I'll call her that. birds found paradise. Alright. Anything else? There's a little more. story. A bird story, but still. That was amazing. 
I didn't think it was going to be much. I was thinking it was going to be a small story about a man and his bird. Didn't think much of it. But, ah, uh, you grab my heart by the strings and you pull it again. Freebird Games, Can Gal, you are the man when it comes to making me cry. Ah. Uh, This was an amazing experience. I know it's longer than most episodes I do, but honestly, I don't care. This was an amazing game. And I cannot wait to play Finding Paradise now. Now I'm more excited than ever to play Finding Paradise. I cannot wait. We're going to see what that's like real soon and get to be with Eva and Neil again and just go through an amazing time. I absolutely cannot wait. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you guys all for the support you guys have given on my channel. And thank you all for a lovely year in 2017. We're moving on to 2018, and it feels like just yesterday that we started this year. Thank you guys for everything. For 164 subscribers and a lovely set of people out there. You guys may not comment a lot or like videos or whatever, but that's not... And you guys may not watch my videos, but for those who do, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are the reason I do this. You guys are why I do YouTube. And... I don't say that just to say it. I generally mean that you guys are the quintessential reason why I do YouTube. I wouldn't be making videos just, you know, it's fun to make them, yeah, but I don't want to just make videos for the sake of making them. I want to make them to entertain someone. And you guys out there, I hope I've done a justice to you by making content like this. And I honestly cannot wait to make more videos for you guys in the future, to play more games that I have never seen or anything on, and especially with a first experience like Bird Story. This was an amazing game, and an amazing development team behind it and I cannot wait to dive into Finding Paradise but for now thank you everyone so much for watching and as always stay creative folks